Hi there! Welcome back to the Maplin channel. I'm Johan. Today I'm gonna use the Maplin together with a number of different peripherals. I'm using it with a sequencer, I'm using it with a drum machine, with a sampler, with some external filters, and two MIDI keyboards. So uh, I hope you'll enjoy it and maybe get some ideas for your own creativity. <laughs> and if you enjoy the video videos, please subscribe. And I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye. Okay. Today I brought a bunch of gear. Continuation of what I did in the last video. I still have the Mugger Fugger. But you can see that apart from the uh, Maplin, I also have a, a TR8S drum machine from Roland. I have a, a 1010 Music black box. I have a Dopfer Dart Time, that's a sequencer. And I'm using these uh, Rode wireless mics. And I have a Keystep. And I have this uh, Korg, King Korg. But you're not going to hear any sounds from the King Korg. I'm only using it to play, play on. The reason I brought the black box here is because it's fun to play uh, the Maplin uh, with polyphony. So what I've done here is I've sampled the Maplin. Uh, the black box has a, a nifty feature where it automatically samples, say, every three notes and then you can make it into a polyphonic sound. So this is what that sounds like. So all you're hearing is Maplin with the Mugger Fugger filters. Then I have, today I also have the sequencer uh, running the Maplin, but the sequencer is uh, synced with the drum machine with a sync out cable. And then I have the key step to change keys on the sequence. And then I can play the King Korg on top of that. So let's give it a try. I'll play one thing at a time. First the drum machine, it goes like this.
just a little example of what you can do. There are a ton of features in the sequencer as well, of course. Many of you are familiar with sequencers. But what you can do to get some variation apart from changing the key, you can also make it play backwards and forwards, you can make it play random notes, you can make it skip certain notes, and you can uh, well, you can either mute or skip uh, notes. So if you want, you can make make it play 15 notes, and then you'll get some variation as the loop plays. I'm going to reset, set the right key, and I'm going to skip the last note here. You'll hear, hear a bit of a difference. Of fun stuff you can do. Uh, maybe you get some ideas from this. Uh, I've only scratched the surface of what you can do. And of course with the drum machine you can do tons of variations as well of course. Uh, I'm no pro at, at programming drum machines but uh, uh, I'm learning as well. But as you can see the, the thing that's kind of novel about this is sampling the, the Maplin and being able to play Maplin sounds polyphonically which uh, opens up a whole new uh, area of possibilities uh, and it's also a good way of saving a sound that you're uh, happy with because uh, quite often you don't quite remember how you programmed the, the Maplin to get back to the exact same sound. So that's it for now.